I love combining my alcohol markers with watercolors. How about you? Hello everyone, welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. I'm Iram Prasneem and today I will be sharing with you this extensive colored panel where I have used both alcohol markers and watercolors. The florals are colored in artist alcohol markers and for the background I have used artist watercolor 24 pan set. I love how this card turned out, it's so worth all the effort, it's doable but time consuming. For my project, I'll be using the painted flower camellia stamp set and here you see me prep this with the stamp conditioning eraser, another item that stays on my desk now always. I'll use the pastel sunrise dye ink to stamp the image onto the Crestola white cardstock panel and you can use any light color ink. The image doesn't have to be perfectly stamped but just enough uh, for you to make out the lines. I'm not doing no line um, coloring but avoiding uh, the black ink from smearing while coloring with alcohol markers by stamping in a lighter color ink coloring my image and then stamping over the image again in black ink. You can completely skip the step and stamp directly in black ink if you are a careful, patient crafter. I will start by applying Coral Berry Artist Alcohol Marker to the petals. I'll apply this closer to the flower center. I'll blend this out with Frosty Pink Artist Alcohol Marker. The last color to go on the petal is Rouge, which will add a peachy tint to the pink petals. This will also differentiate the tips of the petals in tone and in this way the tips of the petals will appear lighter and different than the end of the petal and the peach tone will also give the illusion of sunlight falling on the petals. The first two shades are from the Red Cosmos family and the Rouge is from uh, the Red Sunset family. For purplish flower, I'll start by adding purple wine. This is not the darkest shade in the color family and I'm trying not to use dark colors for the flowers. My leaves are going to be uh, darker and bold. The second shade I'll add is Coral Berry. This is what will add a pinkish hue mixed with the purplish tint and will also match with the other flower. The third color to go on here is Puffy Heart. I'll blend all the layers in with frosty pink. I will color all the petals in the same way, nothing special, not uh, much detailing. For the leaves, I'll start by adding evergreen which is the darkest green color I have and I needed this to show shadow. The next color I'll add is emerald, then lagoon, then I'll add mountain mist and then in the end to add that tropical vibrancy I'll add frayed leaf. Just look how it changes right away. I'll color most leaves in this combination and for a few leaves I'll use the tropical forest markers to add some olive colored leaves. For the berries I'll add yellows from the summer afternoon set using all shades um, except for the darkest one paperback. So I'll start with caramel toffee in a C shape. So when I'm done I have a bit of a highlight. Next color to go on in is warm sunshine and I'll blend both these with buttercream. After this I'll put this panel back in the stamp platform and stamp the image again in obsidian ink. You can stamp as many times as you want um, if you want a bolder black outline. Then I'll cover this colored area with a mask and stamp some more. Following the same steps, I won't show you the coloring of this uh, portion as it's done in the same way 
but I wanted to show you a mistake. See how I'm about to stamp the outline in black because I've already colored the image and I do it too. So what's wrong here you ask? Have you noticed that I didn't place my mask? I forgot to place my mask and I've stamped over the colored image. I, <laughs> I spent such a lot of time coloring it. Um, so how I'll fix this is I'll add darker colors to the petal to make it appear as if uh, the double stamping is part of the image. This was a fluke, complete fluke. I didn't know it would work, but I, wa I wasn't going to give up. I never do. I, w I wanted to save this panel. Uh, so in some places, I'll try to show the double stamping as curled petals. And fortunately, it worked. It worked very well. For the leaves, I'll do this. Um, I'll do the same. Uh, instead of adding um, marker coloring, what I'll do is I'll add some doodling, add more veins and vines, and try to make the double stamping part of the foliage. You really can't tell uh, unless you compare the image side by side uh, with the stamp image and play find the difference. <laughs> To add a bit of interest and also make the flowers appear different from each other, I'll add some dots. On one flower, I'll add dots of purple wine and on the second one, I'll add dots of cosmic berry. This will also add a bit of uh, difference between the two flowers. I've cut out my panel and added some more stamping onto the card front. At this point, I thought I need to add some watercolor to the background. I love the look of artist marker florals on a watercolored background. I do this often and always love the result. I'm using artist watercolor but I won't uh, use shades directly from the pan. Instead, I'll mix them up. Mix, the, mix some greens up uh, with a bit of uh, rock collection to match my leaves. I'll start by adding light color wash and I'll be super careful as to not add too much water because this is not watercolor cardstock, but Cressola white cardstock. I'll keep working on this till I'm happy with the look. And I'll continue this watercolor onto the um, card front too uh, in my uh, trademark dripping uh, look. I do this all, almost all my cards and I absolutely love the look. I know some of you do as well. So I hope uh, you will like this tutorial. I'll leave you with some music. Enjoy. Once dry, I'll just stamp the sentiment, adhere the fussy cut panel with foam tape and I'm done. I hope you like the card. I love how it turned out. I did say that before. Do you use alcohol markers and watercolors together? If you don't, you should definitely give this a try. If you do try, don't forget to share, tag me at Glitter and Souls and Alternate Alternate LLC. Thank you for watching. Bye.